Hello, my name is Kevin Jobsky and I'm with ICM Controls. And I'm here with Matt Valint, one of our sales reps, who's gonna take you through the installation process of our ICM 493. This is a single phase line voltage monitor with built-in surge protection. And it is one of our fastest selling products on the market today. We're gonna to be installing this unit on a P-Series Mitsubishi mini split. So the reason why the ICM 493 is so popular is unlike a surge protective device that basically um, just is, works against lightning strikes and unlike a line voltage monitor which will help against power voltage anomalies such as high voltage or low voltage conditions, this does both. Easy to install, takes about five minutes to install, fully programmable, uh, it does have a five fault memory so it'll record the uh, fault that you had some kind of a, a power condition. It's field adjustable, allows you to um, set the parameters on the high voltage, low voltage uh, to prevent some nuisance trips, etc. And today this is going to be installed on a three ton Mitsubishi system. Uh, we do have a, um, another model coming out is the ICM 493 with a 60 amp contactor built in and that will be sufficient for some of the larger five ton units. So without further ado, Thanks, Kevin. So we already took the liberty of installing this on the wall. Um, coming out of the box, I'll take that cover off so you can see the inside. Out of the box, everything is separate. The screws, the mounting screws, the, the front panel is separate. So you can mount this box easily without the weight of this. It's pretty heavy. There's four mounting screws. You can either use Tapcons for concrete, uh, plastic anchors. This happens to be drywall. Mounted on wood, doesn't matter where it goes. Uh, it's a NEMA 3 rated box, so it can go outside. It's designed to be out in the elements, right next to your disconnect. This happens to be a commercial fuse disconnect. Doesn't matter which one it is. Can be a home, your regular non-fuse disconnect on your standard AC system. Uh, this is really designed for the inverter equipped equipment out there now. Your mini splits, uh, your high-end heat pumps, high-end air conditioners. Uh, it, this is what this guy was really designed for to, to protect. Um, it can be installed on any standard AC system, not a problem, um, with the same effect. When the 493 goes into uh, reset, it disconnects completely because it has its two-pole contactor in here. It, it, so it disconnects the equipment completely. Uh, a lot of the surge protectors out there only disconnect one leg. So you could still have a problem on the other leg uh, feeding your power or feeding your unit, um, and that could damage your equipment, especially the inverter-driven equipment. Mm -hmm. um, when you get this out of the box, again, you mount the box here, make it level. Um, actually, all the connections come out the bottom. Don't drill holes in the side. Follow your local codes when you're mounting these in. Two wires in, two wires out. Everything else is already pre-wired. The low voltage to the board um, from the contactor, everything's already pre-wired for you. Um, you've got your line voltage that comes in, comes into the left side. So you have your power feed in the board and you have your load voltage coming out of the right side of this to go to your equipment. Here you have your bank of MOVs, there's five, and this is what they refer to on the display when it says MOVs remaining. These will actually get taken out in surge suppression protection. So should the thermal metal oxide varistors die off due to a lightning strike, um, what's really nice about the ICM 493 is that when you need to replace it, you don't need to replace the whole unit. All you have to do is buy the board, the ICM uh, 494 uh, board. And it's a simple, again, five minute repair. You just undo a few screws, plop in the new board, and you're, all, and you're good to go. Two screws come in the box to mount the panel. They just go in the side here. This gets mounted up. So four screws, a little bit of wiring, wire stripping, and you're good to go. You know, five, 10 minutes uh, for the end an install. Um, powering it up, goes on, this waits, this, so you'll see it'll power up, it'll go through its check. Setup on this, now that the power is on, it's going to give you a reading, now it says 213, um, and you want to really make sure that that's true. So what you're going to want to do, you want to turn that off again, you turn your power off, you take your multimeter. And you're going to want to read the power coming in to your disconnect. So right now this says 212.9213. So this thing was correct. And the reason why is because everybody thinks you have 220 or 240 coming to your equipment. Not in all cases. 
Uh, and if you think that it's 240, if this is set at 240 and you set the, you go through the programming, you'll see you set the under voltage, you'll automatically trip it because it's thinking you want to set 10% under 220 volts. So it will trip out automatically even before you even get started and you'll be pulling your hair out. So it says two, two, 213 volts and it says we have five remaining MOVs. So we'll get into the setup of the control of the ICM 493 to help protect your equipment. Right now it's just bouncing back between the line voltage it's reading and how many MOVs are remaining. Right now it's 213 and five, so we'll get into the setup. Backlight comes on. Uh, this is where we're going to make sure that this, this line voltage matches what's coming in. Uh, out of the box, it's come set up at 240 volts and you're gonna wanna make sure that this is set to what is coming in. So that's, and that's what we're gonna do. Right now this is set at 213, we already went through the setup. 213 volts, hit set up again. This gives your over under percentage on your voltage. So this is at a seven. This is your anti-short delay setup where you can set up here is, uh, it comes out of the box at 30 seconds. You can go up to 10 minutes if you want. So we'll leave it back at 30 seconds. Again, we'll go to reset mode, comes out of the box, set up at auto. You can actually set that to one trial, two trials, which is just your, it'll, it'll try once and it'll kick off and you're gonna have to come in and reset this. Um, autom automatic just lets it keep going to keep trying to, uh, to restart everything up. The allowed MOV fails, comes out of the box set at four and you wanna leave it there. You can go down to three or two if you want to. Um, you can go to five, but at five, it will kick off and not work anymore. At four, you'll be able to reset it and it will work one more time until somebody gets a new board for this, which is the 494. And back to the beginning, line voltage. So that is all there is to install in the ICM 493 to protect your existing equipment or your brand new equipment.